There are three professional divisions in wheelchair tennis, the men's, women's, and quadriplegic division. The quad division is unique in that it's based on a disability of three limbs or more. So it's important for you to understand how a quad has to strap into this chair, the devices a quad might you have to use in order to hold the racket, and how heat and hydration can affect the health of a quad player. Let's take a look at quad tennis right now. Hi, my name is Jason Harnett. I'm the official assistant coach here at the USTA National High Performance Program. Today we'll be discussing quadriplegic tennis. We have four points that we will be touching on this section. Number one, racket setup involving assisted devices. Number two, chair setup. Number three, heat management issues. And number four, stroke limitations issues. Let's take a look at quad tennis. In quadriplegic tennis, the racket setup is essential. And for most players, because of hand strength issues and range of motion issues, they will need some sort of assisted device to help them hold the racket in place. Whether it's prosthetic devices that help you hold your hand in place, Velcro straps, duct tape, some sort of taping device, ace bandages. Uh, the most common form used today is athletic tape. And today we'll have David Wagner, the world number one of 2007, help show you how to tape the racket into your hand successfully using athletic tape. Hi, I'm David Wagner, world number one quad player in 2007. Today I'm going to discuss with you about taping the racket to your hand or using some sort of assistive device to help hold the racket to your hand. Um, my hands function at about 30%, so my hands are paralyzed, so I am not able to hold the racket. Uh, I must use an assistive device, and the assistive device that I use is athletic tape. Uh, that has seemed to work the best for me, but there are other prosthetics out there that people use. Um, I will demonstrate how I tape the racket to my hand. So I start with putting the tape around my wrist. And I like to go around my wrist just a few times to keep it tight. Um, I also add uh, tape on my handle, but I make the sticky side of the tape outside so that my hand can stick to the racket so that it doesn't slide inside of my grip. I put my hand in the grip that feels the most comfortable, which I'm not sure what the name of my grip is, but I'm in my grip. And then as I, as I pull the tape, I pull the tape around my fingers so as to pull my fingers around the racket to help hold them in place. And the, the key to this is not going too tight to begin with, as you're going to wrap many layers of tape around your hand so you don't want it to be so tight in the beginning because you'll get tighter and tighter as you go and I like to cover as much of my skin on my hands as possible so as to protect my hands while pushing and I'll just keep going across all of my fingers the key for this like I said is not to go so tight because you have pressure points in your hands where your hands will go numb so it's very important to use the right pressure um, around your hand and uh, while taping. Uh, the other key if you decide to use tape, the other crucial point of using tape will be to make sure that you at some point flip the tape over so that the sticky side of the tape is on the outside which will allow you to stick to your push rim so that you can push. Uh, this is just one way of doing it. There are multiple ways so please experiment with those other ways if this doesn't work for you. For the quadriplegic tennis player, heat management issues can be a problem. Sweating is an issue for these players, so when you're playing, you need to regulate your body heat. That involves basic hydration, cooling, that could use ice packs, visors, hats, sunblock, anything you can use to regulate your core body temperature. Doing this will ensure your safety and increase your performance. In quadriplegic tennis, chair setup is essential for good performance. The use of strapping devices, such as waist belts and other straps, bucket in the seat for balance issues, coated push rims for strong pushing, and also the quadriplegic division is the only division that allows power chairs to be used. In quadriplegic tennis, it's important to understand your upper body disability. This can affect range of motion issues and stroke limitations that you might have. So remember, take into consideration your ability to reach above your head and to extend for balls.